Hi, thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna to make another bacalao dish, the famous salt cod from Portugal. This one is probably the most popular. It's called bacalao de Gomes de Sá. Gomes was the son of a rich fish merchant. And what happened, he lived in port. They lost their fortune due to like a warehouse fire. He went and worked in a restaurant. He came up with this dish that's a Portuguese classic and they named it after him. One of the first things you have to do with bacalao is soak it in water for about 24 hours. So let's get started with this classic. All right, the ingredients for today's dish are the bacalao, some hard boiled eggs, I already hard boiled these eggs, some sliced up onions, some boiled sliced potatoes, garlic, I already peeled and chopped the garlic, some black olives, some olive oil, parsley, fresh parsley, and milk. Also salt and pepper. But with bacalao, be very cautious with the salt because it's already as salted. Really try to reserve the seasoning of salt till the end. You know, taste throughout. It'll just depend on how much salt is being pulled out of that fish or how salty it was to begin with. The proportions in this recipe are two pounds of bacalao to two pounds of potatoes. And that's a good thing to remember. So that's gonna be your basic proportions no matter what you're doing with this dish. If you're feeding more people, just kind of keep that proportion of the salt cod to the potatoes about equal. So we have our bacalao here. Basically, you just kind of tear at it with a fork. It's a little bit of a tedious process, but you want to shred it into about half inch to inch pieces. And this does take a little bit of force. You know, this dry cod is a little bit on the tougher side, so it takes some force to pull these pieces apart. Hopefully every bite you get of this dish, you're getting a little piece of the bacalao with it. Peel the potatoes, peel and slice. Now I'm slicing up the potatoes about a quarter to an eighth of an inch thick. These will be added to the simmering milk and bacalao. All right, now we'll slice up the onions about quarter inch slices. Now we're gonna infuse this bacalao in about two cups of milk for about an hour. Okay, I am putting in two cups of milk adding in the bacalao, bringing it to a boil, then I'm gonna put in my sliced potatoes. Then I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer and allow it to simmer until the potatoes are tender, which should be about 30 minutes. I have my hot pan. I'm gonna put in some extra virgin olive oil and then I'm gonna saute these onions until they're golden. Once they reach the golden stage, I will put in the garlic and saute them for additional three to five minutes. Next, we'll peel our hard boiled egg. The potatoes are done cooking. Okay, I'm draining the milk from this pot. Here's my bacalao and potato mixture. It is cooked, the potatoes are tender. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna taste the potatoes. If they taste salty, I will not add any more salt to the dish. I won't add any salt to the onions or anything else. If they taste under seasoned, then after I will season the onions that I'm adding to the dish. And to me, that has plenty of salt. So now even though I'm sauteing that big pan of onions, I'm not gonna add any salt to that because this is plenty in here. Okay, I have my oven preheating to 375. Now I'm gonna plate up the casserole to go in the oven. And what I'm gonna do is put in about half the olives inside the casserole and about half will be, maybe a little less than half, will be garnish on top. The other thing I did when I was slicing my eggs, I kept the nicer pieces to put on top as garnish. And then I chopped up the, you know, the end pieces of the eggs and any pieces that got mangled up, I chopped that up and I'm gonna incorporate that inside the casserole. Mix that in a little bit. I didn't add any more salt, it just wasn't needed. Very important to wait towards the end to see if you need more salt. I will add some fresh ground black pepper. This is one of those Mediterranean dishes that takes a lot of olive oil, so I have some good extra virgin olive oil here. Put about a quarter cup in there. It's a healthy mono and saturated oil. And now I'll bake this casserole dish for about 30 minutes. Everything in here is already cooked. You're just kind of incorporating the flavors together. Let all those flavors bake together and marry together a little bit with the olive oil. So we'll put that in there. Then when we take it out, we'll garnish with our eggs and olives. Douche me leave it. I almost forgot the onions, the cebola. Um, <laughs> I turned around and noticed the onions weren't in there. So I'll mix that up. Dios me livre, I believe that means God help me. I'll clean the edge a little bit because if you don't clean the edge, it'll just kind of burn and get crusty. So it's just a little bit better presentation 
to make sure your edge is cleaned before going in the oven. Hey, I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe on a classic Bakilao dish, Bakilao de Gomes de Sa. Thanks for joining me today. Now go out and cook for someone you love.